Yeah, you know, uh, smart TVs are okay, but uh, eventually you just figure out that they can't get all the stuff you can find on your computer, and it just seems like they try to charge you for everything you want to watch, so I just decided it was time to just build a computer for my TV. And there, there's a lot of different brands of book-sized PCs, which are just regular full-bore computers, just like your laptop or desktop, but uh, these systems seem to normally come as bare bones because I guess there's just too many variables as to how they can be set up. Uh, but after doing a little research, I uh, chose the Shuttle DS61. And I'll run you through a build-up on my uh, HTPC. Uh, for the most part, uh, I've got on-screen text that you can read. I'll, I'll talk from time to time, but uh, mostly it'll be on-screen.
the uh, 7260 car that I chose, it didn't really say anything about uh, antennas or anything, so I got it running and then discovered later that I had to put the antennas on. Um, I couldn't find them anywhere else, so I had to get on eBay, and there's a seller, Wi-Fi Expert, that I had to get the antennas and the wires to hook it up to the card. These pictures here coming up are, are uh, were installed after I had gotten it done, and uh, they they work pretty good. When you get your RAM, be very careful that you uh, get the right RAM because uh, they make uh, this particular shuttle uh, takes a 204-pin RAM and they make a 240-pin RAM which is uh, probably a home computer and this is probably a laptop RAM. So be very careful about that. this uh, RAM just uh, slides into the slot you've got to be real careful it it'll just snap right in once you get in the right place but uh, don't force it or you're gonna break something <laughs> so uh, just take your time The uh, hard drive, I chose the uh, solid state drive because it'll run circles around a disk drive and I figured the faster speed unit is going to work a lot better on the, the home theater PC. Uh, I also chose a smaller 128 gigabyte, 128 gigabyte Samsung because I, I don't plan on putting a lot of software pictures on my TV and if you, if you plan on doing that you're probably going to want a larger drive but Keep in mind, the larger drive is going to be a little bit slower than a smaller drive is.
if I were uh, to do it again, I think I'd probably go ahead and get the the slot for the DVD or Blu-ray player because uh, it only adds a half inch to the height, and I ended up having to get an external one because I was going to try to load Windows through the through a uh, cut or a stick and got the look and it was going to be too much problem so I just went ahead and just got a USB DVD and it works great for playing movies but it would been nicer just to have the whole unit in one As I'm finishing this up, I'll start getting into the Windows operating system that I ended up using. Originally, I wanted Windows 7 because I had read all the horror stories about Windows 8. And uh, I hadn't got the Windows 7 ordered from Newegg where I got everything else on this thing. And the only thing available locally was Windows 8. So I uh, unenthusiastically settled for it. But... Uh, I've been running this uh, HTPC here for about six months now, and and uh, I really actually like the Windows 8 on this TV setup. It uh, it works well, and once you get the blocks set up the way you want them on the screen, it's real smooth, uh, smooth operating system, and uh, it's got different ways of doing some stuff, and you just have to get used to it. But uh, overall, I really like it. Uh, showing here some of the stuff and Windows 8 will also go back into the old style desktop if you want to do that. This whole system the way I have it set up uh, it'll fire completely up in about 24 seconds and it'll shut down in about five seconds and uh, I, it really works well. I like it way better. This is like what you would call an ultra smart TV. <laughs> so. Well, that's my build, and uh, good luck on yours.